Hi, my name's Brian Johnson. I'm a wannabe race driver, but some of you might recognize me from somewhere else. Uh, standing in front of ACDC, that's me day job, and I have a fantastic time doing it, but this is me passion, racing these cars. Come with me. Certainly, uh, when you're a rock star, uh, you have to find something to do for recreation. And uh, for Brian Johnson and his wife Brenda, this is what they do to kind of get away from the, the world of rock and roll. Check that baby out. No, that's an engine. There's not that much, you know, difference. You know, before I go on stage, you know, even though I've done it a hundred times, a uh, hundred, uh, well, a few thousand times. <laughs> You know, there's always one of the guys when we're going up the steps, they'll just go, go on, give him hell, son. And that's, you know, you, you get up and G yourself up to get on. And, and, and it's the same here, you know, go out, be safe, have a good race, you know, yeah. enjoy yourself. And that's what nearly everybody says before you go out. Just enjoy yourself. And you usually go quicker when you do. How did you start sharing your love of racing? Actually, it was down in Argentina, remember, with the band fired a go-kart track. That's right. Uh, we started racing go-karts, just for a bit of fun, and um, Phil Rudd, the drummer, Phil Rudd, said, uh, you need to get her a go-kart, mate. <laughs> As you can see, in the racetrack, there's a lot of huge buses, but our favorite and what we love so much is this, and this is the little airstream. We are here, and this is the living room. Stay there. Now we're here, and this is the bedroom. That's it. Uh, this is the toilet. Oh, sorry. Just one of the guys, and, uh, and he's fantastic. He really enjoys it, along with the rest of them, and uh, he takes it seriously. I'll take it out again this afternoon about 2 o'clock, try the seat out, see if my feet can you know, reach the pedals, because I am pretty short. <coughs> Brian, you know, is a, a disciplined driver. He, he uh, really seeks it out as a student of the sport. What I learned was it's not like the smaller car, which is just exciting and dashy and dodgy. This is basically what you're racing, is it? It's just a 1,500-pound a, a tub with, with 610 horsepowers in the back just shoving you along. He drives a race car. Just like he tours, I mean, he it's all or nothing with Brian. Steering wheel came off yesterday in my hand when I was doing 170 mile an hour. That wasn't funny. He's actually a very good driver, to be honest with you. Yeah, he's, a very, he's been racing, uh, I'm guessing, probably 12, 13 years. I've been fortunate enough to go and see him in concert, and he's exactly the same on stage as he is here. I mean, he's just, he's full throttle all the time. I mean, you never see me at the end of a fishing pole. Most energetic guy I think I've ever met in my life. When people say, no, you just go and have a nice soak in the bathtub. I hate bathtubs. It's nothing to do. <laughs> you just sit there getting wet. Brian's a pretty focused guy. I think when he wants to do something, he, he'll do it to the extreme. You know, he'll really put in the effort and, you know, study it. And as you can see with his driving, he, he really does do a good job. There's no feeling like that in the world.